because thank you, we're going that way. And then we go back the other way. And that's often the setup you'll use because you'll kind of push him, you'll get that reaction, that Hondo no Kazushi, that reaction yep. you want, and you take him the other way. So Now, he got this grip, okay, so he's going to be using, he's not only pulling with his hand, he's going to be using his elbow to suck Mike in tight because, again, he wants to get as round, Derek wants to get as round as he can underneath Mike because Mike is really, if he's just bent over, he's giving Derek his hips. He's giving him all the room he wants to be able to come in and manipulate, throw him, certainly with a throw like this. So Derek wants to get a good grip, use that to kind of bully him with, the elbow pull, and when he comes in, and he'll stay very round. Again, as he steps in, the right hand is up here, the left hand is, the left foot steps in. And when he does that, he starts to lower his level as he's starting to drive his foot up into the inside of Mike's thigh here, the inside thigh here. So you can't come in stiff as a board. You've got to come in and lower your level, lower your level under him to catch him. So watch how he does it again. He gets great Kazushi when he pushes back with that drive because he gets me up on my heels before he rocks me back the other Yeah, direction. good point, Mike. Good yeah. point. Yeah, yeah. And you're, you're not going to get that if you don't have your forearm in there. Um, again, you know, we were just talking about this in the Muay Thai class. Use your forearms kind of like a bumper. So if I get this grip and my elbow is up high, when I step in, he's going to grab me and then he's going to send me backwards. Okay? I don't want to get uranagi on this. So you get your, your elbow down and in front of him. Yeah. And that way when he does try and come in, I've got that, that elbow there to block him. And I can also use it to move him around, right? He starts thinking we're going that way. And then we go back the other way. And that's often the setup you'll use because you kind of push him, you'll get that reaction, that Hondo no Kazushi, that reaction yep. you want, and you take him the other way. So push him one way, get the other way. So just do it out that way, because that's that's a very good point, because that's often done from here. So he thinks he's going to be moving back, catch up with him, and again, when you catch up, lower your levels, roll right under. So as soon as you feel any sort of resistance against your your form, him coming back in, that's when you step in and and reverse. And it's. Almost everybody should be able to roll over on top of him because you pull the guy so hard and you, you become like one big round ball. Yeah. So keep pulling, stay round, you'll come right up on top of him. Yeah, and kinetics they call it coupling. There's a, there's a technical word. But nonetheless, it's just like two boxcars hooked onto each other and one pulls the other and that's yep. what's happening. You know, the and momentum takes him going too. And it okay, Hikomigashi. Go get him. 